Hey guys, let me just start off by saying that I love under the radar movies. These kind of movies are just like movies that like, you know, people, not a lot of people have seen them. They're not getting like a huge amount of popularity. They usually get a limited release or, you know, they get a big release, but you know, like they're good or they can be really good in this case, but they're just not getting the huge popularity. They're usually like shadow, like in the shadow of like other movies that are coming out like Creed and you know, like they just don't get that kind of attention that they really deserve. And that movie that we're talking about today is Spotlight. Spotlight is such a good movie, and I can't believe that I didn't have it on my list of movies to see this year. What happened was, is a friend of mine was going to see it. He invited me to go along with his other friend to go see in the movie theater, and I had no intention of doing it. And even if I saw it, I was thinking, I'm probably not going to do a video about this. And then when I saw it, I ended up loving it. I, I cannot believe I didn't put this on the list for my movies to review this year. I mean, it has some of my favorite actors in it. Mark Ruffalo, who played the Incredible Hulk, and in the movie The Zodiac. And Michael Keaton, you know, he's another one of my favorite actors. This is such a great movie, the way that it was put together. Like, but I must warn you that the subject matter of this movie that they cover is a very disturbing subject. It is not, this is not a happy-go-lucky movie. There's no happy ending. I'm just going to tell you right now. Like this, this is a very dark movie and they go into a lot of detail that will make a lot of people uncomfortable. Just me and my two friends that were in the movie theater, we were the only two sickos in the movie theater. There was another couple that came in and they left when they saw it. But this is such a good movie though. The way it is directed, and from what I read, it is very accurate. The movie Spotlight cover this team that is covering this story about molestation in the Catholic Church um, over in Boston. It's based off of a true story, and it is like, I, yeah, again, like the very disturbing uh, subject matter. But it is such a good movie, though. Like, the, everything, the way it is acted. Michael Keaton is great. Mark Ruffalo is great. Everybody in this movie just does such a great job, and like, Ah, the performances are just top-notch. I really hope this movie gets at least nominated for something. I mean, it is so good. This movie, like, I really wish that, that it was getting the attention that it deserved. But unfortunately, it's not. Like, to look at me. I didn't even get to see it on time. So, but yes great movie. I really liked it. I know this review is coming out really late for it, but you know, I had to talk about it. You know, really, honestly, one of the best movies I've seen this year. Like, if you're just in the in the mood for a good movie, a serious movie too, that's like, you know, a little bit of a diversion away from a lot of the movies that we've had. Like, we've had a lot of happy-go-lucky movies. This is a very, this is very dark. This is a very realistic and, you know, grounded movie this is you know this is based off of true events and i really think that it would be like you know it's a really good movie it just is. It's, I cannot say this enough that it is a really good movie, how much I liked it. I loved the dialogue. All the characters were interesting. You know, they were all based on real people. And, like, from yeah, again, what I read, it was pretty accurate. And, the, you know, they covered such a just. I never thought that they would make this subject that they covered in this movie they I never thought it would get me in they would get me interested in like in it but they did they actually got me really interested in it and it shows this they show both sides in this movie too of this subject and like like I just can't say more just go see it for yourself I hope it's still in movie theaters to where you can go see it if it isn't make sure you pick it up on DVD or if it's streaming on Netflix or anything like that watch it it you will not be disappointed that's why I definitely give it a 2C because it deserves it so that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.